Are you thinking about installing a DC fuse box like this one? But are you confused about how it works and what wire and fuse sizes to use? In this video, I'll walk you through the wiring process and provide a diagram to make things easier. Let's take a closer look at these DC fuse boxes. They're used to power devices like pumps, USB chargers, lights and other small 12V DC appliances. They're basically a bus bar with built-in fuses, usually accommodating 6 fuses, though you can find versions that hold more. These fuse boxes are great for smaller loads, but keep in mind you should never connect an inverter to one of these. Inverters draw too much power and should be connected directly to the bus bar or battery terminals. The maximum fuse size you can use is 30 amps per circuit. These fuse boxes are rated for a total of 100 amps and a maximum of 32 volts. So don't use these on a 48 volt system. Only use branded fuses like these ones from Little Fuse. Here we have the main positive from the battery bus bar that's going to the input of the DC fuse box. Then we have our first circuit. This is a USB charger. The positive leaves and the negative returns to this negative bus bar. Then it goes back to the main battery bus bar. This is a 10 mm square wire, as you will soon learn in the wiring diagram. But the problem with this wire is that we cannot crimp it with a normal crimper, because only for 10 gauge or 6 mm square. That's why we have to use our luck crimping tool with a number 10 die. It's best to use non-insulated ring terminals. If you're going to use insulated terminals, it's best to remove the insulation before crimping. Otherwise, you'll end up with this one. Then, add your heat shrink according to the color code. Red is for positive and black is for negative. The screws and bolts of this DC fuse box are M5 or M6, but yours can differ, so make sure you check it out before you buy it. Let's say you want to power a USB socket that can charge your phone and power a laptop, which uses a maximum of 85 watts. With a 12 volt battery, you divide 85 watts by 12 volts to get 7 amps. Then you must multiply by the safety factor of 1.25, giving you 8.8 .8 amps. The next closest fuse size is 10 amps, so you will need a 10 amp fuse. Next, you will need to choose the right wire size. Always pick a wire that can handle more current than your fuse. Because you want the fuse to blow before the wire overheats and causes a fire. For a 10 amp fuse, a 16 gauge wire or 1.5 mm square is ok. Now you might ask, how do I know the right wire size? Here's where the table from Blue Sea Systems comes in handy. It is designed specifically for 12V appliances. By finding your maximum current on the table, you can determine the appropriate wire gauge. The nearest current is 10 amps. So we will search for this in the table, and you will see that you will need a 16 gauge wire. On the left, you can see how this converts to metric. This is a 1.5 mm square wire. But here's where it gets tricky. Wire length matters. If your wire is longer than 6 feet or 1.8 meters, you need to use a thicker wire to avoid voltage drop. If the voltage drop is too low, your 12 volt devices won't run properly, and it could even be dangerous. For example, if you're running a 100 watt load on 12 volts, you would need 8.33 amps. But if the voltage drops to 10 volts, your current will increase to 10 amps. That's a 20% increase in current. Let's say your USB outlet is 15 feet or 4.6 meters from the battery. Instead of a 16 gauge wire, you would need to bump it up to a 12 gauge or 4 mm square wire to handle the distance without issues. 
It's also worth noting that some devices, like fridges or fans, might need a larger fuse than what you're calculating due to startup currents. Always check the manufacturer's fuse recommendations. Finally, let's talk about wiring the battery to the fuse box. You will need to protect the cable that runs from the battery by adding a fuse. Add up the current of all your devices. Let's say it's 25 amps. If you're using a mega fuse, like I do, the smallest fuse you can use is 40 amps, because mega fuses start at 40 amps. So you will need to choose a wire that can safely carry 40 amps. An 8 gauge or 10 mm square wire will do the job. And that's how you wire a DC fuse box for your off-grid solar setup. If you're interested in receiving free electrical diagrams with wire and fuse sizes, check out the link in the description. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you in the next one.